Right, today's video is basically how you can succeed in A-level chemistry and by succeed I mean get an A or an A star at least. Now, this applies for all exam boards, so if you're on OCR, AQA or even Edexcel or whatever other exam boards uh, do chemistry, this will apply for all of them, so don't worry about that because the content is basically the same. My number one tip, I'd say, is download the specification. This applies to all A-level um, subjects but first of all you need to download the specification the reason for this is because the specification basically includes everything you need to know for the exam once you've downloaded that you've got basically a checklist of everything that you need to revise or everything that the exam board can test you on so you download the specification print it off and use that as a revision checklist but make sure you use it throughout your A-level, don't just use it for a month and then throw it away. You have to, honestly, it's so important to use the specification. My second tip is get the CGP revision guide for chemistry. Don't use the um, exam board endorsed textbook as much because basically with chemistry, there's like a little bit of knowledge that you have to know and the rest of it is exam technique. So they only test you on a smaller bit of information every single yeah and you'll notice this by doing past papers because in the past papers the questions are basically repeated again and again so get the cgp revision guide because the cgp revision guide simplifies this much information into like this much information so everything you need to know and nothing they, they don't include anything extra except for the cringy jokes at the bottom but yeah and you have to make notes on every single page of that cgp revision guide you can't Normally you, you might miss out a page because it doesn't look important but with the CGP revision guide because it cuts out all the crap you have to make notes on every single page or else you, you're missing out useful information. Third tip is do past papers. You've probably heard your teachers and, and your brothers or sisters tell you this so many times but honestly with chemistry it, it's a joke how many times the questions get used and again and again every single year. like. There's some questions that you'll see th that came up three or four years ago and have not stopped coming up for that those three or four years. With chemistry, all the questions get used again and again, so make sure you do all the past papers at least once, each one at least once, and by the end of it, you should be getting a minimum of grade A in, in the past papers. And if you're not getting grade A minimum, then you need to do them a second time round. So, do all the past papers, don't use the book for the past papers. Um, you can maybe for the first or second past paper that you do use your notes but don't use the book. Make sure you do them at least once and if you're still not good at it then you need to do it twice. And the fourth but the most important tip I can give you from my point of view is basically when I was doing the past papers if I got any of the questions wrong I would write them out on a A4 paper. So I'd write the question out and then I'd write the answer out and that was because I knew that question might come up again in the exam and if I got it wrong then the chances are in the real exam I'll probably get it wrong as well and by doing that I sort of reinforced the right answer into my head. The day before the exam or at least a week before the exam I would look through that A4 paper and just read through some of the questions that I got wrong and that sort of is like revision as well because you're learning um, the right answer to those questions. So those are basically my tips and advice for how to succeed in A-level chemistry. Uh, make sure you like, comment and subscribe for more videos and if you do stick by these tips and advice I can guarantee you'll get an A at least. I mean I got a B at AS and then I got an A star at A2 which averaged out to be an A overall so yeah it does work. Anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe.